Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Sumed and he's uh, Yashwant Rao. We are, uh, we are, we are from Chauce Grammar School. Uh, the project is, the project is uh, accident prevention since our sir. Very often in our day-to-day -day lives, we come across many accidents in which small babies and small animals get crushed uh, very badly under the wheels of heavy vehicles. Uh, when the driver is taking a reverse, he would not have the view of view at this height. So uh, we have, uh, so he, the many animals and puppies get crushed under the vehicles. So uh, we have made a prototype which will prevent these accidents. The hardware which we have used are a PIR sensor and LED and four AA batteries. Uh, four AA batteries. Okay, this uh, this PIR should be kept in the bumper near the bumper of the car, and this LED should be kept near the steering, so that when it's taking a reverse, the the PIR sensor detects uh, uh, it detects uh, the presence of any hum uh, any animal or small babies, so it sends a pulse output to the LED. Then the, the driver will get alerted and he might take a necessary action. Okay, in this way it can be used. Basically the PAR sensor works on the principle of difference, differencing the infrared, infrared radiations of a background and the foreground bodies. The, the model of a PAR is SP0061. It has a, it has a range of 70 degrees in the, in the horizontal plane and 360 degrees in the vertical plane and 6 meters at the radiation range. The, it's called as, it's so called as PAR because P is uh, P is passive. Passive uh, means uh, it does not emit any infrared radiation. It only detects the infrared radiation. And infra so called as because uh, it uh, we cannot see with our uh, eyes. And red it is the uh, lowest energy, lowest uh, cause of energy where we can uh, where our eyes can sense before it's, it before it gets invisible. So he's going to explain the circuit. This is a circuit which we have made. This is a PIR sensor, and the positive terminal of the PIR sensor is connected to the positive terminal of the batteries, and the negative terminal of the PIR is connected to the negative terminal of the appliance, and they both together go to the negative terminal of the battery. And this is the third pin, is the output pin. This is connected to the positive terminal of the appliance. So this is the bulb. We can use a PAR sensor in such cases as a burglar's alarm and also an automated study lamp. Burglar's alarm because whenever we can, if we keep a PAR sensor to near the compound wall, when a thief enters, when a thief enters, every human being emits such rays, rays, radiations called infrared radiation. So it 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 detects the infrared radiation and send a pulse output to the buzzer where it is wireless and and uh, and the house owners can take the necessary action is going to explain the uh, automated lighting system. Uh, PAR sensor can also be used in automatic lighting, sense, lighting system. This PAR should be kept near the doors so that uh, when whenever we enter a room, it will detect our um, infrared radiations and sends the pulse output to the light. So as we accordingly when we move out of the room, the it will get switched off. Okay, it, it helps in saving a lot of energy.